welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. forget to like our video and subscribe our youtube channel for all the updates welcome to online classes dear students in the last class we discussed about the circular flow of income in a simple economy let us discuss how to calculate the national income so before going to calculating national income we should know what are the things are there in calculating national income under the heading macroeconomic identities macroeconomic identities identities are the proof to see the economic way macroeconomics how the macroeconomics is working so macroeconomic identities just ingredients just how you are doing something we are using some ingredients for food like that so see the national income accounting there are some macroeconomic identities first macroeconomic identities is first one we are going to discuss is gdp gross domestic product gdp means gross domestic product gross domestic product next one is ndp net domestic product next one is gnp gross national product gross national product gross national product nnp is also one of the identity to find macroeconomics net national product next is pi personal income personal income next one is pdi personal disposable income so these are the things we are going to cover under the macro economic identities macro economic identities let us see one by one how these are included while calculating national income so first one gross domestic product as we know this gdp means gross domestic product gross domestic product is nothing but total amount of goods and services produced in a domestic country that is the gross domestic product gross means total domestic means internal total internal gross means total domestic means internal total internal goods produced or product produced in a country is said to be the gross domestic product so while calculating national income while calculating national income we are using the gdp gdp is the main deflator to calculate national income so while calculating national income we are using the gdp total internal product produced in a country so what it includes while calculating national income gdp at market price gdp mp means subscript mp is there mp means gdp at market price is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m it is a formula to calculate gdp so what are this gdp at market price is equal to c plus i plus g x minus m in simple way we are saying this this is a formula to calculate gdp at market price where c is equal to c is equal to consumption expenditure c means consumption expenditure expenditure made on the consumption i means investment expenditure how much expenditure made on the investment that is also including while calculating national income g means government expenditure g means government expenditure public expenditure we are saying that on public goods or some other goods so m means imports m means import x minus m means 
export minus import net export net exports only we are considering net exports x minus m means so c plus i plus g m means for your understanding i said imports x minus m together we are saying that is net exports export minus import imports are ready uh, deducting only the exports giving us the foreign exchange reserves earnings so we are including while calculating gdp we are including only the net exports so gdp at market price is equal to c plus i plus g plus x minus m where c is equal to consumption expenditure i is equal to investment expenditure g is equal to government expenditure m is equal to imports x minus m means net exports it means export minus import so gdp is a deflator or barometer of economic welfare so without our domestic product we can't say our country is developed or while calculating national income what is our national income on the basis of national income our country's development is measured if there is low level of national income that is a sign of less development if the high national income is there it is because of increase in the gdp total internal product produced in the country make in india process we are hearing now so it is encouraging the production within the country and increasing our export to the out of country so when we are supplying our goods to the rest of the world that is said to be the export when the export is greater than the import that is said to be the surplus balance of trade so we are earning the more national income through the foreign exchange earnings thus gdp is one of the barometer or identity to calculate national income second main identity or barometer to calculate national income is ndp ndp means net domestic product here ndp means net domestic product what it includes means net domestic product is nothing but net domestic product at market price is equal to ndp mp main subscript mp is there ndp mp is equal to net domestic product at market price is equal to gdp mp whatever we calculated in the gdp gross domestic product at market price means gdp mp means c plus i plus g x minus m minus depreciation what it indicates means gross c plus i plus g plus x minus m minus depreciation so gdp at market price minus depreciation after deducting the wear and tear allowances on wear and tears of capital goods or after deducting the repair charges or replacement charges depreciation after deducting depreciation charges we are calculating only the net domestic product it is one of the way to calculate national income next one is gnp gross national product gross means total how to calculate this so while calculating national income we are including this using this formula that is gnp is gross national product gnp at market price means is equal to gnp mp plus gross national product at market price plus net factor income from abroad net factor income from abroad means whatever the factors or goods we supply to the rest of the world abroad for that we are earning the foreign exchange earnings that earnings is said to be the net factor income so gnp is gnp at market price gross total national product means it includes even the gdp plus net factor income from abroad whatever the income received through the export for exporting our goods we are receiving the income that net for factor income we are including while calculating the gdp next one is nnp net national product what is this net national product so net national product is nothing but gnp mp gnp mp plus uh, sorry minus depreciation charges gnp mp means gross national product total national product at market price 
minus depreciation charges. Depreciation charges means I already said it is a repair charges or charges on wear and tear. Repair charges. So, while calculating national income, we are not including the depreciation, we are excluding the depreciation. That is NNP is equal to GNP at market price, MP means market price minus depreciation charges. While calculating net national product, we are considering only the gross national product at market price excluding the depreciation charges. Thus, it is one of the macroeconomic identity to calculate national income while calculating the nation's total income to calculate the nation's development. Next one more is personal income. What is personal income, person, per capita income, have you heard? Yes, in the first year itself you heard about per capita income, income per head is said to be the per capita income. What is personal income? Personal income is nothing but national income minus undistributed profit, not at all distributed, undistributed profits minus net investment, net investment payments for households. It is together called as personal income minus corporation tax is there. For all tax is there, after deducting the tax, whatever the remaining money is said to be the income, thus personal income is total income minus corporation tax plus transfer payments. What are the payments were made for the transfer or goods and services exchange together called as personal income. So, while calculating national income, personal income also included but not directly through the national income minus in the national income you are going to deduct undistributed profits minus net investment payments from households and minus corporation tax plus transfer payments together called as personal income. Last one identity to measure macroeconomic identity to measure national income accounting is PDI, personal disposable income. What is this PDI? Personal disposable income means personal income, personal income minus personal tax payments, whatever the tax we are going to pay to the government either directly or indirectly. Personal income minus personal tax payments minus non-tax payments, minus non-tax payments, payments, tax payments and non-tax payments. All are excluded while calculating personal disposable income. Thus, these are the six way or identity to identify the national income accounting. So, let us see what are the main identities means GDP, NDP, GNP, NNP, PI, PDA. Very important for 6 marks students you should concentrate on this and should go thoroughly as it is whatever I am explained that is more enough to for you for score 6 marks. So, you should refer some books for these concepts how to calculate macro this how to identify the macroeconomic identities there are six macroeconomic identities GDP gross domestic product, NDP net domestic product, GNP gross national product, NNP net national product, PI is personal income, PDI is personal disposable income. These are the way to calculate macroeconomics and these are said to be the macroeconomic identities. So, while calculating national income, these are very, very important. So, GDP is said to be the barometer of economic development. So, economic welfare is always depends upon the total product produced in the country. GDP means gross domestic product, gross means total, domestic means internal, total internal product produced in a country during a year is said to be the gross domestic product. So, in the next class we are going to discuss the different methods to calculate national income by using income method, expenditure method and product method we are going to discuss how to calculate the national income. Thank you.